Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Dr. D's. We are back with another video. So today we are going to be defeating N9-19, the free-to-play way. We are not going to be using any legendaries except for Micah, but everybody can fuse Micah, so technically it's still free-to-play friendly, right? But we are using all epics. The main thing about this battle that you need to know is you need some magic damage booty clappers, guys. Some magic damage booty clappers. And then another thing you need is CC. CCs is very important for this stage, all right? So we have three destroyers, all right? We got the common destroyers, the uncommon destroyers, and the supreme destroyer. The supreme destroyer takes a good amount of damage to take down. I mean, he is tough. He is tough, which is why he is supreme, right? We got all three destroyers. Just keep in mind, once they get hit right down here, the combat mode, they'll start walking slow. Then once they get hit, they'll start walking faster, right? They'll, they'll start moving a lot quicker, which means that we need CCs. And that's exactly what we got in here. Um, so all three of them are heavy armor. And then these two guys are light armor. I don't have any piercer damage, but we don't need it. We could take care of these three guys. No problem. All right. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I'll show you guys how I have them built right after. Uh, but this is the lineup. We got my guy Wrath only for his Lord skill, mainly because you can't use ground units. So we're only using Wrath for the Lord skill, guys. Um, and then everyone else is mages, basically. Well, actually, uh, Micah is a marksman, but she is a magic damage booty clapper. We like it, right? Um, and then we also got Vortex for some heals, and we also got Hollow just to restore some rage, right? And then we got AI for the CCs, we got Iona for the CCs, we got Greed for the CCs, Mari for the CCs, and we are also enjoying Abizu's Lord skill. So let's go ahead and get right into it. This is a pretty simple strategy, guys. Pretty simple strategy. So the big guys are going to be coming out from the right side. Look at them. They're coming out quick and slick. We're going to lay down Iona, mainly because she has CCs and she deals a good amount of damage, all right? Let's go ahead and change it to two time. Okay, I do realize, I just realized that Iona isn't technically free to play because you do have to pay $5 to get her, but I would highly recommend to do it because she is a booty clapper nonetheless. One of the best in the business, guys. Then we're going to lay down Greed. Then we're going to pop Iona's ultimate. And basically, her and Greed's going to take care of everyone right here. Boom. Boom. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to lay down Mari first. Mari is the CC on this side. We're going to lay her down. And then we are laying down Micah right after, all right? Micah is going to be the booty clapper for this side right here. Let's go ahead and lay her down. Boom, boom. We're taking care of him. It's good. It's nice. Okay, we could go ahead and change it back to two time. Oh. Mm hmm. Now we're going to lay down hollow. We're going to go ahead and pop Micah's ultimate. And then we're going to just slow him down. And then let Micah clean up house. And then we are going to lay out Ibizu. Ibizu, excuse me. Um, okay. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're going to go ahead and get their ultimates back quicker, right? The, the trickiest part of this whole stage is coming right up. Here, let me go ahead. We're going to lay down AI. AI is crucial mainly because these big guys, the Supreme Destroyers, start coming out. And we need to take care of those Supreme Destroyers, all right? So she's going to go ahead and start laying down her icicles. I mean, these things are awesome. One of the best CCs in the whole entire game. Um, okay, let's go ahead. We're going to lay down Vortex. More survivability for these guys over here. Um, let's go ahead and change it to two time. See, even though these two guys coming out of this portal over here, even though they are, uh, they're light damage, we could still take care of them. No problem. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and pop her ultimate. Let her take care of that guy. 
Okay, now it gets tricky. Here comes the Supreme Destroyers on this side. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and pop her ultimate. Then we're going to change it to two time and watch them put in work right here. Watch them put in work. Just CC for days, guys. CCs for days. Look at this. Everyone's getting slowed. It's a good way to handle everybody. Boom, right here. Boom. All right, we got them. We got them. Okay, on my last run, I killed them before this, uh, but we took care of them nonetheless, so we're good to go. Go ahead and wait. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop her ultimate, actually. Let's go ahead and pop her ultimate. Let's go ahead and pop her ultimate. So then there we go. That is the strategy. Pretty simple, right? Pretty straightforward. And I know a lot of you guys probably already have Legos that you could go ahead and throw in here, which would probably make it a little better. But I figured why not do this the free to play way, right? Uh, so let's go into how I have everyone built. I will show you guys the damage. Um, Iona leading the charge. You wouldn't expect anything less. She is about that life, guys. Uh, and then Greed, we was mainly using for his CCs, but then we also have Micah. Micah was taking care of the other side, and she did her job, guys. 8.1 million damage. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I, I don't have a Bizu and in some insane gear. I just put her in whatever's, honestly. It's a broken set. I mainly threw her in there for the Lord skill and to add a little bit of extra damage, right? So let's go ahead. I'll show you guys how I have everyone built. So Wrath, that don't matter because I didn't even use him. Um, we got Greed. Greed is in a, I mean, this isn't even his best set. His best set's going to be Soulbound Arcana, even Wisdom. Wisdom will probably be better than Ageless Wrath, uh, but for some reason, he's an Ageless Wrath. I have no clue. <laughs> but again, I was mainly using him for his ultimate, um, but read him a weep. This is what we got. Uh, his, his attack speed's rather low, but at least he's got Rage Regen. The main thing is getting the ultimate back quicker and him just keep throwing it out, right? But then his artifact, uh, Tome of Horror, definitely one of the best artifacts for him. Attacking slowed targets increases attack speed and Rage Regen by 25% for five seconds. Let's go. Next up, we have Hollow. We got her in the Euphoric Orb. Uh, this is how I have her built, read him a weep. We got her in a lot of attack speed because she has single target healing. We definitely need her in as much attack speed as possible. Um, and then she's also attack based healing, so attack's good for her as well. We got her good healing effect and rage regen. Rage regen for the rage regen queen, let's go. And then, um, okay, I already did her artifact. Next up, we got a Bizu. I put her in a, uh, in a broken set. I mean, honestly, as you guys saw, her damage wasn't there, so... Again, just using her for the Lord skill and also using her for a little bit more damage. Um, but this is how I have her built. And then the artifact I have on her is Soul Binding Crystal. I mean, honestly, I don't even remember putting this on her, so it is what it is. <laughs> uh, but let's keep it going. Who else we got? Uh, Vortex. I have him in Euphoric Orb as well. Maybe Euphoric Orb did help because it is increasing the attack speed, which is pretty nice. Uh, then this is how I have him built. HP is very important for my guy. He's single target healing. Attack speed is very important for him. Um, and then also a little bit of healing effect as well, right? Um, but read him a weep. That's what we got. Then we got my girl Yona. I put her in a pretty good set. You're going to need to have her in pretty good gear. Uh, Soulbound Arcana is definitely the best one for my girl right here. But if for some reason you do not have the, uh, the tier two sets and you don't have access to the Soulbound Arcana, I would highly recommend the curse set. Curse set is a beautiful set for my girl right here, uh, but that's how we got her. High attack speed. Her attack speed's at plus 355. Her damage is based off attack, so you want the attack to be a lot higher than what I have it, but 7,236 still work beautifully. Um, and then her crit rate is almost at 100%, and crit damage, uh, that's a beautiful crit damage right there, plus 162.5. Let's go. And then her artifact, I put her in the Tome of Horror very very good artifact for my girl. Um, then we got Mari. Mari, we got her in Tome of Horror as well. Anyone who does CC's Tome of Horror is going to be a beautiful set for them. Uh, then we got uh, Mari in a broken set, uh, but I wanted her attack speed to be rather high. Um, her damage actually is pretty decent, you know, plus 5,012. Uh, pretty decent for her base attack only being 1,786. But the main thing that people need to do is attack speed. Attack speed is very important for her, even higher than what I have it, mainly because we're using her four CCs. 
even if you build her out with like i don't know a bunch of crit damage 100 percent crit rate and a bunch of attack like more than what i have she's still not going to do a whole lot of damage but she also does vulnerability which makes it nice for your booty clappers to go ahead and take care of business right um so that's how we have her built tome of horror I already went over that. Sorry, I keep doing that. And then last but not least, we have my girl, Micah. I had to put her in a pretty good set uh, because we need her to do a lot of damage. But keep in mind, you guys probably have access to some really big booty clapper uh, magic damage nukers, right? Uh, so you could have definitely replace her with like, I don't know, Comet, Hex, um, Vierno be another solid one. I mean, there's a lot of good heroes out there that you guys might have on your account that you could go ahead and swap in there and and make it work right but i just basically gave you the formula so you guys can work off that right um and then her set we have her in a pretty good set i just swapped my uh jira set and threw it on her and it worked beautifully but these are the stats we have um attack you definitely want it as high as possible attack speed plus 326 pretty solid crit rate almost at 100 and then the crit damage plus 155 so i think that covers everybody and if you guys have any questions hit me up in the comments but that's all i got for tonight's video you guys have a great rest of your night and thank you for making it to the end